Welcome back to the channel, guys. This is a little uh, butcher block countertop I put in this remodel I'm doing for some people, and uh, I asked them what they wanted for a backsplash. <laughs> we got backsplash over here on this uh, simulated marble stuff, and so I said, "What should I do?" And I said, I "Look, they say you can do a stainless steel. You could do um, well. We got black and stainless steel accent. I could have done a black and stainless steel." Um, but this was most convenient and most cost effective. This is the cutoff of this thing. If you see the grains going left to right on this butcher block, this found at Lowe's. I rounded this myself with a uh, random orbital. Um, it count, you can buy this conditioning oil, you, that's what you want to get. And so I cut this, this is a drop. It's got a center seam right here. Um, I drilled it out both sides, put a dowel in there, Pressed it with the bar clamp. I should have saved that, up, that all video for you guys. And came out real good. Uh, just an idea for you. Take your cut off, round it really good. Let me show you profile here. Round it good. And that will keep all spaghetti juices, blood, and whatever else. Stuff that you're gonna be doing on your butcher block from running down the back of the wall. This one has a little bit of a, a rubber seal here. This, that one I'll have to do something with. But anyways, absolutely free. Don't throw your butcher block uh, countertop cut off away. Utilize it. Put it in the backsplash. You'll be really happy. And uh, I'm sure the customer will too. Until next time, guys. Keep on remodeling and all that good stuff. Be careful. Keep your fingers out of the saw. And um, save some money. Don't spend it all.